Here you see the flatbed arriving with all the sips needed to build the outside walls and the roof of a two-bedroom home. SIPS stands for Structural Insulated Panels. They can be assembled within a few days and offer an incredible insulation factor and air tightness. These panels are numbered in the factory and are easy to fasten together. Listen as Michael and Gretchen talk about their new SIPS Southwestern Adobe Style Home. Building a home seems like it's never going to end, and ours is still continuing. Um, we decided to build a SIPS house. It's an environmentally sensitive way to build. We're building out here in the Southwest, and we love it, and we're doing everything we can to help the environment. You know, we started looking at Adobe style homes because it fits into the neighborhood here on the Mesa. And SIP panels were probably one of the best solutions because they are extremely energy efficient. They can be constructed in a factory setting and all of the sections are custom designed according to the architect and engineer specs to accommodate the windows. So when they came in, we had, you know, the potential for a very tight, well-designed house. Well, it also uses the energy of the sun and the way it's designed, especially on the south face. We chose to not use petroleum for fuel in this house. It's all electric. And fortunately, our local electric company is uh, pretty close to 12 hour a day solar. Okay, well, let's go take a look at it now. We'll see what uh, progress we've made. <laughs> You'll see our beams and uh, roofing lines, which I think lends a southwestern flair, albeit a modern southwestern flair. The architect um, incorporated this idea of shadow boxes, which prevent the sun from coming in during the hot summer days. But as you can see by the shadows here, it's allowing the sun to come in full force um, in the middle of the winter here. And that's what heats the home for the most part, at least the great room, the floor is noticeably warm. Well, come on through the house. We'll take you up for a tour around. See some of the interior architectural components. And as you can see, we still don't have a front door handle, so work in progress as well. So inside, we're, we're, we have a great room here, which is actually capturing that uh, solar gain right now. It's just two bedrooms. Two bedrooms, two baths, and this great room, that's our living space. This is black concrete, it had dye mixed into it, and then um, just an acrylic coating, um, which is topped with dog prints right now. Another thing that's structural and, and kind of ties into the Southwest design are the structural supports of exposed wood. Um, in, a, in an adobe house, they'd be vegans, I think we're just calling them beams. But these support the SIP panels. But really, the roof above this is a 12-inch thick layer of styrofoam sandwiched between OSB board. Um, we, we wanted a wood stove. You can't beat having the warmth and the glow of a fire. Well, as I said, the SIPs are super insulating, and because they interlock, there's no airflow moving between the, the panels, which you can no longer see. The other thing about the SIPs are that they're really, it's very quiet in here where you generally can't hear anything that's going on outside. Oh, you can hear a dog at the door sometimes, but <laughs> fortunately. An example of how tight the house is, the first time we lit the wood stove, we had smoke coming out and it just reminded us, yes, we have to crack the windows before we light our fire. Which and, by the way are mini splits. Yeah. Which work as an air conditioner and a heater year round. What we're doing design-wise is, is to have kind of a, a clean aesthetic with a southwest feel. So we're going to head on back and take a look through the rest of the house. Right, so now you're entering our master bedroom and you can tell there's tons of light in here it's just oh it's the best place to take a nap in the afternoon yeah and so now you can meet our dog judo and here she is she's just a big puppy yeah <laughs> come on come on and so this is our back porch small patio getting back to the southwestern adobe style 
This is obviously a very modern take on it, but we still have parapets, which um, kind of act like walls to the flat roof that's behind them. And then all the water drains out canales. We have 13 of those on the house. It disperses the water without needing a lot of rain gutters and things well, like that. The roof is slightly, ever so slightly pitched. The other addition that was our architects and uh, builders idea was to cap the parapets with a, a small line of metal, but that keeps the cracks from developing in the parapet. Uh, we added an outdoor shower, which we will have a little structure, you know, a little a little, little bit of privacy. A little curtain-ish type of thing. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. So what we have here is a really nice example of that southwest adobe style. Yeah, it's a great place to come out here and watch the sunset or sit in a hot tub and watch the sunset. Our everyday activity is <laughs> coming out here and watching the sunset. It's, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And Juno loves it too. <laughs>